I just got an order from Sephora, so I'm gonna do an unboxing with you today. I needed some basic foundation and mascara, but I got some new brands and I got some other options from what I normally use. I guess I haven't really found my go-to products yet. There's some that I'm happy with, but I'm still looking to try some new products, so that is what I got. What did we get? Okay, here's some samples. I got the, I never know how to pronounce this, but I think it's OA or OI. Um, anyways, I'm gonna try out their shampoo and conditioner. So I got the sample of this. I got a fragrance sample of Magnolia Bliss by Juliet Has a Gun. And then I used 100 points to get the K18 biometric hair science mask. Everyone has been raving about this lately in the salon, hairstylists are loving it. I think their marketing and branding is amazing. Um, so I'm curious, does it actually work? So I'm gonna try it on my own hair and see how it feels. The next thing I got is the Dior Backstage Air Flash Foundation. So this one is, oh, I don't know if you can see it, it's so shiny. This one I got in 2WO. Since I ordered it online, I had no idea really what my skin tone is. It's so hard to do it online, but I had to kind of guess, do it based off of the little color chart that they have on there. So yeah, it's kind of like a beigey neutral tone, a little warm, which is good, but I'm so excited to try this. I've seen it for several years now and always wanted to test it out. A little bit worried about the aerosol, I guess, because I don't know how healthy that is. It's highly rated on Sephora, even though it's super expensive. I'm excited to try it. And then I got my Caudalie Eye Makeup Remover Oil. If you're following me, you probably know that I love this product and I'm gonna keep using it. I just think it's super gentle. I love Caudalie. If it's working, I don't really switch it up that much. It looks like I got a sample of this Aura Bay Gold Lust Nourishing Hair Oil. Ooh, I'm so excited to try this. Obviously, as a hairstylist, I've heard of Orbe, I've used it, I like the fragrance, and I love hair oil, so I'm excited to see how this one compares to the other ones that I'm using. And then I got the Valentino Mascara. I love the Anastasia Mascara, but wanted to try something new. And this one is for volume and long wear. So excited to try that. Then I also got the Gucci lipstick. So this one was just for fun, I guess. I love how this looks. It's got a floral pattern to it. Feels super heavy. And this is called Red. So I just got Gucci Red. I believe this one is matte. Let me double check. Oh, it's a sheer red. So perfect for summer. That way it's not, I have a bunch of like matte red, super high intense, um, lipstick, so I'm excited to try this and see how the sheer is. And then I got the Valentino Light Lasting Perfecting Foundation. Um, I didn't know, but it has SPF in it. So this one I got, oh yeah, the color looks good. I got it in MN3. So for picking these out online, I'm so far pleased with what it's looking like. And I got this one for more everyday wear and just in case the spray doesn't work out just because right now I'm like so close to being done with foundation that I'm glad this came today. I really needed it. So this is gonna probably be my go-to. Um, unless this is amazing, we will see. The second to last thing I got are these, these large pure silk scrunchies in black. Last time I got these, I got the tricolor one and I lost the black one, which of course is my favorite one. So this time I just decided to get all black because right now I have the pink and the beige. I love these. They're super pricey for scrunchies, I think it was like $30, but I probably won't need to replace them again as long as I don't lose them. Since they're black, it's classic, and I just love how it feels on my hair. It doesn't snag or pull. Okay, so this I've been wanting for a while. Not necessarily this one exactly, but I wanted a headband for when I'm doing my makeup in the morning so I don't have to pull it up too tight. Um, I like doing the scrunchies at night when I'm washing my face and doing my skincare routine before I go to bed. But when I'm doing my makeup, 
I like to brush my hair smooth and let it sit out so it's not getting a kink in it. So I got the slip headband. So I'm excited to try this. This one had mixed reviews online. Some people said it was too big for their heads, so I'm curious to see how it works for me. Okay, so I just tried the slip on, um, and it is not too loose on my head. It actually feels good. Sometimes headbands pull too tight and too snug, but I think it's so cute. It's just like pulling my hair and all my baby hairs off my face, so I could totally imagine putting this on in the morning, putting on my foundation, skincare even, and just letting my hair kind of relax with some oil in it before going in and curling after I'm done with my makeup. So, so far, first impressions, I think this little headband is super cute and exactly what I need in the morning when I'm doing my makeup. That is everything I got from Sephora this last time. I will, of course, be using this and I will let you know if I like anything in the upcoming months. Subscribe to stay up to date with that. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and I will see you next time.